What is going on you guys, today we've brought you an amazing series, Reset. The series opens with Lee calling the police to tell them that a bus is going to explode. We then see the number 45 bus blow up in the middle of an intersection. Lee then wakes up in the number 45 bus next to Zhao and she was breathing heavily so Zhao offers her a tissue paper. Lee looks at him and she then starts screaming that Zhao was trying to sexually assault her. But Zhao, confused, tries to explain himself but everyone in the bus starts condemning his behavior. Lee then asks the bus driver to turn around and go to the police station, but everyone tells her that she should wait as there will be a police station at the next shop, and she then begs the driver to just let her out, and after annoying everyone, the driver stops and lets her out before getting to the next stop. Lee then asks someone to come with her as a witness, but when everyone refuses, she pulls out Zhao and tells him that he will go with her. After the bus leaves, Lee apologizes to Zhao and she starts walking back, but Zhao, confused and annoyed by Lee, just calls another cab and goes on his way. Lee takes out her phone and tries to call her mom, but she hears a loud boom which stops her from moving. She then gets hit by a motorcycle and she wakes up in the hospital with a concussion. She's then taken to her room and on her way, she sees a dying Zhao getting taken to another room. Captain Zhang arrives at the explosion and finds everyone on the bus dead. Then from the CCTV cameras, he sees Li and Zhao getting off the bus right before it explodes, so he sends Detective Chang to talk to Li. Chang arrives in Li's room and asks her why she got off the bus, but Li struggles to remember why she got off the bus, and first she tells him that she had a medical emergency, and she then tells him that someone tried to molest her. Her story is not adding up for Shang, and he starts to suspect that maybe she is also a suspect, but just then Captain Zhang arrives at her room and takes over the interview. Suddenly, Li remembers everything and starts telling Zhang what happened that day, as Li went on the bus to get to the bookstore. She sat next to Zhao and she dozes off and falls asleep and she then hears a phone ringing which wakes her up but as she opens her eyes she sees a bright light that burns her face. Li wakes up in the bus and starts thinking the thing she felt was a bad dream but she hears the phone ringing again and this time she sees the bus explode. She then wakes up again in the bus but this time she freaks out and she realizes that she was dying again and again. So she tries to get out of this bus forcibly, but that didn't work and the bus, again, exploded. She then tries a fourth time and a fifth time by claiming medical emergencies that didn't really work as well, as only Zhao was the only one that believed her. But this time, she saw how the bus exploded, and she tells Zhang that the bus was going fast, but a motorcycle gets in front of it, and the bus driver then swerves not to hit the motorcycle, but it crashes into an oil tank truck and explodes. On her sixth awakening, Lee fakes being molested to get out of the bus and she takes Zhao too so she can save him, but it clearly didn't work as Zhao still got hurt. After hearing all the story, Zhang doesn't really believe her and he gets a text telling him that Zhao was dying and we see the doctors trying to save Zhao's life, but Zhao still dies and the episode ends as we see him wake up in the bus next to Lee. As we progress to the next episode, episode 2, the episode opens when Li pulled Zhao out of the bus and he then gets a taxi which stops at red light and we then see the perspective of the motorcycle delivery driver who's running late for a delivery. We see him distracted by his phone and he gets into traffic which causes the accident that blows up the bus and the taxi. After he dies in the hospital, Zhao wakes up next to Li and he then asks her if they have met before and Li immediately figures out that he's in the same cycle with her. Li, excited that finally someone can understand the situation, starts asking Zhao if he remembers what happened but he was too freaked out to talk to her and he tries to get off the bus which doesn't really work and the bus blows up again. But, since he's in a cycle, he wakes up in the bus again and he tries to get off, and Lee watches him as he tries what she already tried to do again and again with no success. And Zhao finally gives up and listens to Lee and she tells him about the cycle and hypothesizes that the reason he is now with her is because she got him off the bus with her the first time. They then come up with this plan to delay the bus enough that it won't crash, so they go to the front of the bus and alert the driver of the incoming motorcyclist, and this plan works as the driver stops just before hitting the motor and everyone passes without a crash. Zhao and Li then start celebrating, but when they start going over the bridge, Li hears the phone ringing and then boom, the bus explodes and they're back to that same cycle again. 
Lee remembers the phone ringing and believes that there's a bomb in the bus, so she and Zhao use the only strategy that worked before, and they get off the bus after Lee claims that Zhao tried to assault her. She then calls the police and informs them that there's a bomb on the bus, and the two then go to the bridge and hope that the police get there in time, but the bus blows up before the police get there. Captain Zhang hears about the phone call to the police, and they track Li and Zhao using CCTV cameras, and the episode ends as the police rush to catch Li and Zhao. We then move on to episode 3 of our amazing series, Reset, and the episode opens with Li and Zhao mapping out their loops so they can figure out when and why the bus blows up, and they run all 10 resets, and they figure out that every time there's a reset, they travel one minute back in time. Meanwhile, Captain Zhang and his team arrive at the park and look for them, and they see them on top of the tower, and they rush to catch them. Li and Zhao discussed what they should tell the police when they eventually get caught, and since Li had experienced this before, she proposes to lie to the police and come up with some simple excuse, but Zhao fully disagrees with her and convinces her to just tell the truth, so that even if the police don't believe them, they still won't be able to charge them without any proof. Li and Zhao are then taken to the police station and put into different interrogation rooms, and Deputy Director Du instructs Zhang to investigate Li, while Qi Yang investigates Zhao. The two start their interviews and they get different responses, and Li stays quiet as she knows no one is going to believe her, as Zhao tries to explain everything to Qi Yang, which really doesn't go well. Du watches from the security feed and orders a drug test on Li and Zhao, and she also goes through their files and learns that Zhao is a game architect and that Li is a college student. She also learns that they've never met before, which makes her confused, because how did they get off the bus together, and how did they also know about the bomb? Zhang finally manages to make Li talk, and she tells him everything, including the last time he talked to her, and Zhao is also still trying to explain the loop, but Qi Yang was really impatient with him. Zhang and Qi Yang then exchange Li and Zhao to try and make the two turn on each other by claiming that they got accused by the other, but Li figures out that she's being lied to, and the drug tests also come up negative, which makes things more confusing for the police. Du then gets a call from the police on site, confirming that there was indeed a bomb on the bus, and she calls in Zhang and tells him that someone in the city will come to the station soon, and that she won't be able to tell him about the loop theory. Du then goes into Zhao's investigation room and informs him that he's been formally charged with the bombing of the bus. Meanwhile, Li was sleeping in her room, and the episode ends as we see her wake up inside the bus. Episode 4 continues with Li waking up inside the bus, and she finds Zhao sleeping on her shoulder, and she awkwardly tries to move him without waking him up, which kinda doesn't work, and the two then discuss what they learned during their investigation. They agree to tell people in the bus that there's a bomb, but as soon as Li shouts that there is a bomb in the bus, the bomb is detonated immediately and they all die. The two wake up in their seats, again, but now they're equipped with the knowledge that the bomber is inside the bus with them. If I was a bomber and I was about to kill people, I don't think I'd be on the same bus that I was blowing up, but hey, whatever rocks your boat. On the next cycle, they start examining the people inside the bus, and they look for people that they think are suspicious, but no one is suspicious enough. But they then realize that there's one person missing. A person who always sat in the back wearing a face mask and a black hat. They realize that they've gone back enough that they have one more station to go. The two then get off the bus at the next station, and we see the man get off the bus, and Lee then immediately calls the police and tells them that there's a bomb on the bus. Zhao hides from the cameras and then tells her to follow him from afar, and once they reach the park, Zhao angrily asks her why she called the police and revealed herself as he planned to go through the evidence and find out who the bomber is before they are caught and is angry that Li called the police without discussing with him first. Meanwhile, the police led by Zhang make a roadblock and stop incoming traffic, then Qi Yang with the other officers goes into the bus, but when they try to search people's bags, the bomb blows up, but this time Qi Yang also dies. Back to Li and Zhao, Zhao feels bad for being angry at her, and they then see the police have also failed to stop the bomb, and Li tells him that he can go and promises that she won't tell the police about him. She then picks up the phone when she gets the call from the police, and surrenders in front of the park. Zhao sees from afar as she's taken by the police, 
and he leaves to go to his meeting, but on his way, he feels too guilty leaving her and he decides to investigate the bombing some more, and he opens his laptop and goes through all the news reports about the bombings. Meanwhile, Lee was getting investigated, and she tells the police everything again, but no one really believes her, again, and she tries to ask to talk to Zhang or Chiang, which surprises the police as she shouldn't have known that they would be on the case. Director Du also sees Zhao getting off the bus with her and orders her men to find him. Zhang then goes to talk to Li, but before he could talk much, Li's phone rings and Zhang then accepts the call and puts it on speaker. Zhao was the caller and he asks if she was still there, but she then responds by saying that I already broke up with you. And this alerts Zhao of what's going on and the episode ends as he tells Li to go to sleep. On episode 5, it continues just as Zhao tells Li to go to sleep, and Zhao then packs his bags and goes to find a drugstore so he could get some sleeping pills. Du sends Zhang and his team to find Zhao, and they track his phone to get to him. Zhao gets to the drugstore, but he couldn't get sleeping pills as it required a prescription. But the pharmacist just gives him melatonin pills to help him sleep, and he takes that and then goes to the supermarket. And there he buys some alcohol and he takes it with the pill. Zhang finds Zhao half dozed off and mumbling, but they bring him inside the car, but as they were driving to the station, he falls asleep and wakes up on the bus with Li. They apologize to each other for not ending things on a good note last time, and they come up with an idea to take the bag of the masked man. They first try faking a fight, but then try to take the bag off the man, but he fights them off and then he blows up the bus. Next, Zhao sees the man was on his phone, so he accuses him of taking secret pictures of Li and then tries to grab his bag. This goes a little better as Zhao manages to apprehend him, but the man starts having an asthma attack and Li then goes to grab the bag, saying that she would look for his meds inside, but he still grabs onto his bag and the bus blows up before she can take it off of him. Next, they plan to stop him from going to the bus, so when they reach the bus, Li blocks the guy, then Zhao grabs him from the back and stops him from getting on the bus. They then finally manage to look inside his bag, but they just find a cat and they realize that the reason the man was not letting them open his bag was because animals weren't allowed on buses, so they leave him alone and go to a restaurant to further investigate. There they discuss how they reset, and they figure out both of them need to be asleep to reset, and that if only one person goes to sleep, they go into a dream and wait for the other person to arrive. They then see the news of the bus explosion, and Zhao then looks for posts about it, and finds a video talking about one of the passengers, and Li then suggests that they should go to the site, and find people who knew the victims, so they could learn more about them, and figure out who this bomber is. Li and Xiao go to the crash site and look around, and they then run into the masked man and he confronts them and asks them if they saved his life intentionally, and the man has also seen the news and figured out something weird was going on with Li and Xiao, and the episode ends as he grabs them and tells them to come with him. On episode 6, the episode continues as the masked man brings them into his secret apartment where he keeps his cat and he then asks them to tell him the truth and they decide to tell him thinking that since he's also saved, he might as well just be in the loop with them. Get it? Loop? Huh, <laughs> so funny. Lee explains everything to him and to her surprise, he completely believes her and he even brings out a comic book and tells them that they should start a superhero team. Excited somebody finally believed them, Lee agrees to form a team. The three then look into the passengers and try to remember anyone that was acting suspicious, and the masked man comes up with one passenger who had a briefcase and they agree to look further into him. He then gets a call from his mom and tells them that he needs to leave, and as he walks away, he tells them that he can help even if they don't join the loop, and to believe them, he tells them to use his name Lu. Li and Zhao then get a hotel room for the night, and they then do their thing on their computers and look for new information, and they look through social media posts and find one of the passengers live streams, and they see in the comment section a lot of people calling an older guy holding a bag full of watermelons creepy. Li and Zhao have ruled out the old man before, but after seeing the comments they decide to further look into him. The police have figured out that there was a bomb on the bus, and they look through everyone that went on the bus, and they see the incident between Lu Zhao and Li, so Du orders Zhang to bring them in. 
Lu first gets the call and he's asked to come to the station, and Li and Zhao also get the call shortly after, and they agree to come to the station as well. Zhao realizes the only reason the police want to talk to them this late at night is because they have found the bomb. So him and Li decide not to tell the police about the loop and just gather information for now. They also realize Lu will be questioned too, which makes them worry that he might tell the police about everything. Lu arrives first and he's interviewed by Qi Yang and Zhang, and he tells them that Li and Zhao thought he stole their bag, but that it was just a misunderstanding. But Zhang notices Lu's body language and figures out that he's lying, and the episode ends as he tells Qi Yang to find out what Li and Zhao are hiding. On episode 7, it opens with a flashback to when Ma, the watermelon guy, was getting released out of prison. He was in prison after he killed someone in a car accident, and he was very excited to be released early and see his family, but his wife tells him to stay away from her and their son, as she doesn't want her son to be associated with him anymore. Back in the present, the police interview Li and Zhao separately, both tell them that they were a couple that saw the bag and thought it was theirs, and the police ask them if they found anyone suspicious in the bus, and they both point to Ma. After their interview, Du wants to release all three, but Zhang is still suspicious of them, so he only releases Li and tells his team to monitor her. Li is then escorted out by the police, but as she goes out, she overhears about Ma, and she tells the police that she will wait for Zhao there, and they let her sit outside the interview room. There she sees Ma's ex-wife and son talking about him, and the son has been with Zhang and tells his mom, that the police might think that this is some kind of revenge done by the family of the person that died during the car accident. Lee overhears everything and she follows Ma's son outside and she asks him about Ma and he reveals to her that Ma was coming to the city just to visit him. Meanwhile, Lu's mom comes barging into the station with his diary and Lu has written what happens that day and how Li and Zhao saved him. Zhang then reads the diary and orders his team to pull all three of them into a different interrogation room. Li and Zhao first try to stick to their stories, but when they learn about Lu's diary, they tell the police about the loop, but just like all the times before, the police don't believe them. The time then reaches midnight and Li and Zhao wake up back on the bus again, revealing that they can not go past that day, even if they survive the bomb. Li and Zhao wait for the next stop and they see as Lu enters the bus, and they then try to talk to him, but they realize that he's not in the loop with them, as he doesn't remember who they are. And they then decide to focus on Ma since they don't have a lot of time. Zhao fakes an argument with Li, and using the distraction, he steps onto the watermelons and breaks them, and Ma, upset, pushes him, but then quickly apologizes, and he then takes out all the watermelons to see the damage, and Li and Zhao see that he doesn't have a bomb. Li confronts Ma and tells him that she knows his son and that he told her he missed his dad, and Ma reveals to them that he brought the watermelon because his son loves it and because he hasn't seen him in years. He then breaks the watermelons and gives it to everyone in the bus, and we see everyone happy for a second as they eat the delicious watermelon but it all ends as the phone rings and the bus blows up. Li and Zhao reset in the bus, and the episode ends as they see their next target. On episode 8, the episode begins a few days before the bombing. Ji Yao, who is one of the passengers, was having dinner with his friends, and he returns home the next day, but he gets evicted. Back to the present time, Li and Zhao are deciding who to investigate first, and they're more suspicious of Ji Yao, who has a suitcase, than Tao, who's a lady with something in a plastic bag. But since it's easier to look at what's in the plastic bag, they decide to investigate Tao at first. Lee goes to her and asks her for a pad, but Tao tells her that she doesn't have anything, and Lee then notices a pressure cooker inside the plastic bag, and asks why she has it, and Tao responds by saying that she's taking meat with it. The bus then reaches the next stop, and Lee and Zhao decide to get off, but before they do go out, Jiao stops them and opens his suitcase, and he then gets out a pad and gives it to Lee. This also clears him from being the bomber, as Zhao and Li can see his suitcase only had clothes. Zhao then decides to go for Tao's pressure cooker, but as he struggles to take it from her, she pulls out the lid and the bus blows up. We then see Tao and Jiao coming up the stairs and getting into the bus together. Li and Zhao then wake up immediately after, but this time they don't go back a minute. They realize once the bomb is on the bus, they can't go off, and now they know Tao is the bomber. 
This time, Zhao tries to steal the pressure cooker, but when he goes to grab it, Tao takes out her knife and stabs him in the gut, and she then grabs Li and stabs her on the neck and kills her, and she then takes off the lid and the bus blows up. Zhao and Li wake up again, and this time very afraid and crying, as they just went through getting stabbed and they're now afraid to do anything. Zhao hugs Li and tells her that they should get off the bus, and they reach the next stop, but as Zhao was going out, Li lets go of him and goes in for one last try. She tries to grab the pressure cooker, but Tao again gets out her knife and tries to stab her, but this time, Zhao catches her hand and overpowers her, and then a struggle ensues which ends up with Tao getting stabbed by Zhao. He then turns around and everyone was looking at him scared, and he takes Li's hand and goes off the bus, but someone still takes the lid off and the bus explodes as the episode comes to an end. On episode 9 of Reset, the episode begins with another flashback to the past, and we see people running into Tao's home after hearing an explosion, and Tao comes out of her house, not hurt at all, and she tells her neighbors that it was just the stove and everyone leaves. Back to the present, director Du and Zhang were watching the security feed on the bus stop, and they see Zhao running out first, and then Jiao looking at the two before the bus blows up. Chi Yang then goes to Jiao's previous home, while Zhang checks Zhao's phone to find him and Lee. Chi Yang arrives at Jiao's home and learns about how he just lost his job, and they also tell him about a fire that broke out in the neighborhood, and how Jia went in to save Tao immediately after. Chi Yang then asks for them to show him Tao's home, and the lady takes him there, but they find the door locked, then Chi Yang gets a call from Zhang, telling him that Zhao and Li are also in the area, then Chi Yang then tells the lady not to let anyone get into Tao's home. We see Zhao and Li running through the same neighborhood, trying to find a hiding spot, and Zhao is covered with Tao's blood, so they stop to clean up. Zhao immediately vomits as he sees the blood on him, and we see that Zhao was in a state of shock after killing someone for the very first time. Li tries to comfort him and tell him what he did was right, but Zhao can't get rid of the image inside his head, and even if they reset, he will still have the guilt and the memory of actually committing the murder, so he feels hopeless. Zhao then tells Li not to go with him as she didn't kill anyone, and that she should say that she was held hostage, but Li refuses to leave him alone, and she responds by telling him that they're partners and that they will figure this out together. They both throw their phone away and get into the back of a truck, and they then drop off near Lu's apartment, so they go there to stay the night. Li sees Zhao's cut on his hand is getting worse, so she takes Lu's anime Cosbe cloth and wig, and goes to the drugstore to get him some band-aid and some melatonin pills. But when she goes back, she sees Zhang in the area asking people about them, so she rushes to the apartment without being seen, and tells Zhao that they need to go right away. Zhang and his team have figured out what apartment Zhao and Li were in, but when they break in, they find it empty, and they then rush to the roof, but Zhao and Li made it to another building's roof, and they were hiding there. Zhao watches on Lu's tablet, a bunch of people calling him a terrorist, and Li then takes the tablet away and tells him not to worry about what people think, and Zhao then gets up and tells Li to wait for him, and the episode ends as he runs away. Episode 10 opens with the families of the victims getting interviewed in the police station. Lu's father claims that his son is alive and shows Zhang that his tablet is still moving. Zhang then starts tracking the tablet and takes his team to capture Zhao. We then see Zhao and Li going to his friend's home, but his friend immediately tries to call the police when he sees Zhao. Zhao tries to explain everything which doesn't work, so he just tells him that he'll give himself up and leaves. Zhang then arrives at the home shortly after, and they just find the tablet inside the house. Zhao and Li go to the beach and discuss what they were going to do, and Zhao thinks that this might be the last cycle, so he tells Li to go to sleep, and then he will just give himself up. They share a warm hug by the sea, and we see Li falling asleep on Zhao's hand. We then see Zhao in a prison uniform, watching Li trying to wake him up, and he then wakes up in the bus with her, and tells her that he gave himself up, and falls asleep in the police car, but he got stuck in the ready state for a minute, and couldn't wake up. They then find themselves back in the bus, and they plan to alert everyone else in the bus and make them leave the bus without making Tao suspicious. They decide to tell all the passengers first, and then Zhao will grab the driver Wang with him. The two then go around and show everyone in text that they are police and to get off the bus. The bus then stops and everyone tries to run out which alerts Tao, and she blows up the bus immediately. 
Zhao and Li return and think of another way of doing this, and Zhao then only tells Jiao and asks him to help them restrain Tao, then on the next stop, he talks to Lu and asks him to help them too. Then Li goes to Wang and quietly tells him that Tao has a bomb, and she then tells him to stop the bus at the bridge so she can throw it away in the river. The bus then passes onto the bridge and Zhao grabs Tao from the back and with the help of Jiao, they manage to restrain her and Lu and Li then take the bomb and tell Wang to stop the bus. Tao then starts screaming and calling Wang a coward for calling the police, revealing that he is her partner. Wang then sees his watch and says that there is no time, and he then stops the bus in the middle of the road and refuses to open the door. Zhao then breaks the window of the bus and gets out but as Li gives him the bomb, the phone rings again and the bus blows up. Zhao and Li wake up again, and Li goes to Wang and directly asks him why he is doing this, and she asks him why he's killing everyone, but before she can get an answer, the bus blows up again. On episode 11 of our series, the episode continues as Li and Zhao wake up, and since none of the plans are working, they decide to get off the bus and investigate some more. Li gets a little confused, and she tries to figure out why Wang would do this, as she always kind of assumed that he was a good guy. But she also remembers Zhang telling her that a bus driver should not have let her out of the bus if there was a molester on board, which means Wang let her out of the bus intentionally so she won't get hurt. They then see the bus explode at 1.45, and Zhao remembers that the bus explodes at that exact time if nothing gets interrupted, and the two then go to Wang's workplace and ask the manager about him, and they tell him that they're college students and wanted to write about Wang's impressive record as a driver. The manager then shows them Wang's file and they take a screenshot and leave. They see from the file that Wang came to the city 4 years ago because his wife also left, but they also see that Wang lives in the company housing. They then go to Wang's home and run into his roommate, and Zhao tells him that he's Wang's nephew, looking for an item that Wang left him. And the very gullible roommate just lets them inside. Li then distracts the roommate with questions why Zhao looks around Wang's room. Li asks the roommate to tell her about Wang as her boyfriend Zhao is planning to introduce her to him. And the roommate tells her that she doesn't need to worry about Wang as he's a kind guy, but to not get close to his wife Tao as she's a bit of a crazy person. He tells her that Wang lives in the company's housing because he wanted to stay away from his own wife, Tao, and that Tao keeps calling him nights and bothering him. Zhao only finds a broken phone in Wang's room, so he leaves with Li to discuss their next plan. They decide to talk to the police, but this time to lie and just tell them that they saw something suspicious so they could get more information from the police. They later meet with Director Du, Zhang, and Officer Yi to tell them about Tao, and they tell them that the reason that they left was because they overheard Tao mumbling about an explosion, and they also tell the police that the only person she talked to was Wang. Zhang and Du find the information that they gave very helpful, but they also suspect that Zhao and Li were looking for information, so they keep them inside the station, which is what Zhao and Li wanted, and Zhang investigates them more. Zhang asks them to look at pictures of the victims and tells them what they noticed about them, but as they were looking, they hear the same phone ringtone as the one that goes off before the bomb, and Yi then picks up her phone and leaves outside to talk, and Zhang sees Li visibly shocked and scared. Zhang asks her what's wrong, but she tells him that she was just reacting to seeing the pictures of the passengers, and Zhang, still suspicious, sends Zhao and Li to the break room and puts them under surveillance. On episode 12, it continues with Zhang and Du watching a recording of Zhao and Li going into the bus's company office, and they also learn that they went to Wang's home. This makes one of the officers think that Zhao and Li were trying to destroy evidence, but Zhang says not to jump into conclusions. He then goes to Zhao and Li and confiscates all their electronic, and Zhao had the broken phone with him, so they take that too, and Zhang then informs them that Wang and Tao had a daughter that died 5 years ago, and he then tells them that their daughter died at 145 at the same bridge. Wang's daughter goes out of the number 45 bus in the middle of the road, and got hit by another car and died, and no no one knows why the bus stopped in the middle of the road, and why she went off it, and the police had closed their investigation without finding out the reason. Zhao and Li now know the motive, but that still doesn't help them stop the explosion. Li then asks Zhang what the police would have done if they were told that there was a bomb before the last stop. He tells her the police would have gone there without question, but informs her that the time might be too short to get the bus before it leaves the stop. Zhao then asks Zhang to give him his number, then we see Zhao and Li waking up in the bus, and Zhao has been taking more time to wake up every time, and this time he was bleeding out of his nose when he woke up, 
But they didn't have time to worry about that now, and they thought of a plan to slow the bus so the police can make it in time. First, Zhao takes pictures of Tao from the back and sends it to Zhang's phone, telling him about the bombing, and Li then fakes the molesting trick and manages to make Wang stop the bus. She then stalls him more by saying that she forgot her bag, then Zhao says that he lost his USB and starts looking inside the bus. Wang then sees his watch and he closes the door and drives off without letting them get off, and this has given enough time for Zhang and his team to go to the next stop wearing civilian clothes, but as there was no time, Wang just drives off without stopping there. Zhang and his team then start chasing the bus and create a blockade at the bridge, and Zhao then manages to overpower Tao and take her knife, then he tells the passengers about the bomb. Everyone then holds her down as Li begs Wang to stop the bus. But Wang says that nobody cares about his daughter's death and speeds up, and he then says my daughter is waiting for us, revealing that he wanted to die where his daughter died so he could join her. Wang reaches the bridge, but the police manage to stop the bus with the blockade, and Zhao then sees his watch and sees that there's only a few seconds left before the bomb blows up automatically, and he then breaks the window and gives it to Zhang, and Zhang then runs to the bridge and the episode ends as the bomb blows up just over the bridge. Episode 13 opens with a flashback to some time after Wang's daughter died, and we see Wang and Tao in the 45 bus, and when they see a young woman, Tao asks her if someone has molested her. They then get reported to the police for bothering people, and we learn since their daughter died, they've been doing this trying to investigate themselves. And when we come back to the present, Zhang manages to throw the bomb off the bridge, but the explosion leaves him in critical condition, and he's then taken to the hospital immediately, but the doctors aren't sure if he's gonna make it. Zhao was also admitted to the hospital for a cut on his hand, and he and Li discuss what they're going to do now. Li says that they can do it better next time, but Zhao points out that there may not be a next time since they stopped the bombing of the bus. Shi Yang then comes to their room and reveals Zhang had just died, and he then asks Zhao how he knew that there was a bomb and how he knew Zhang's phone number, and Zhi Yang is then dragged off by the other officers as he screams to tell him the truth. Wang and Tao are put into different investigation rooms, but they wouldn't talk for hours, and Director Du tells Wang that they're opening their daughter's investigation, and Wang then says that the reason they did this was because they saw no hope on finding out the true reason for her death, and everybody ignored them and insulted their daughter for being stupid. We are then taken to another flashback five years ago, and we see Wang forgetting his phone in his truck as his daughter calls him multiple times. We then see him and Tao a few months after in a police station, and the detective tells him that the most likely reason that their daughter wanted to go off the bus that bad was because she missed her stop, but Tao doesn't buy this and asks the cops to continue investigating. We then see Tao in the bathroom, overhearing a conversation about how her daughter was molested by a guy in the bus, and she then rushes to the next room, but there was nobody there. In the final scene of the episode, we see Wang and Tao walking on the bridge, and Wang telling her that there was no one in that room, and that she just imagined the two people talking. On episode 14, it continues with a flashback to 5 years ago, Wang has finally signed the police report even though he didn't believe in the findings, and we also see Tao slowly losing her mind and scolding Wang every day about their daughter's death. Wang then proposes coming to the city, so both of them quit their jobs and come to the city, and Wang gets a job as the number 45 bus driver while Tao works on building the bomb. A few months ago, Wang goes to visit Tao after the explosion in her house, and she reveals to him that she built a bomb, and then gives him the choice of joining her or continue living. Back in the present, Zhao and Li were still in the hospital, trying to figure out if this was the last cycle or not, and what mystery that they should solve next. Li thinks that they need to figure out what really happened in the bus the day Wang's daughter died, so she calls her school counselor to ask her about it. Mrs. Wu tells her that she was her teacher back then, and that she doesn't know much, but Detective Xi Yang then joins them and asks her to look at the records of her and other students that use the campus blog around that time. Mrs. Wu agrees, and Li also asks to join, and the three then go back to the campus, and they look through the comments and find one post that said that there was a molester in the bus. They then track the IP of that specific dorm, and they find out the person who posted that was a woman named Liu, 
The three then quickly go to Li Yu's workplace and ask her why she wrote that message, and at first she denies writing it, but when Li explains to her what happened that day, she tells them that she's afraid to talk about it. Shi Young then promises to protect her, and she reveals that she was also on the bus that day, and that a middle-aged man molested her, and the episode ends as she tells them that she took a picture of him that day. On episode 15, the episode opens with a flashback to 5 years ago, and we see Li Yu on the bus, and she's sitting around the back and taking selfies. She then sees the middle-aged man trying to touch and molest Wang's daughter, and she then takes a picture of him which she notices, and he then starts staring at her, so she gets out of the bus on the next stop, and immediately calls her mom, but her mom tells her not to tell the police, as he might hurt her once he gets out of prison. That night, Liu goes to the school forum and comments about the reason why the girl really died, and people then start asking for proof, and she gets ready to upload the picture, and she then sees another message saying that she saw and did nothing, and that means that she's also guilty of the action, and she then starts seeing a lot of messages of people accusing her of being a horrible person for not doing anything when she could, so she doesn't upload the picture. When we come back to the present, she shows the picture to Ji Yang and Li, and she also tells them that she had the picture on her cloud, and gives them the password. Ji Yang and Li then return to the hospital and he tells her to take Zhao and come with him to the station. Li goes to Zhao's room and they plan on how they would stop the bombing if they get into another loop. Zhao was feeling sick, so he makes sure Li remembers all the numbers. Li then asks him what if they just wake up tomorrow and they forgot about each other, and Zhao then comforts her by telling her that he will not forget her, and the two then finally kiss. Zhao and Li are back in the bus again, but only Li is awake. She tries to wake Zhao, but he doesn't respond, and since she doesn't have a long time, she continues on her plan, and first texts Zhang telling him about the bomb, and she then tells Ji Yao about the bomb, and asks him to help her, and finally at the next stop, she tells Lu and asks him to help her too. Meanwhile, Zhang and his team silently follow the bus from behind and create a blockade at the bridge. Li then sees them from the window and alerts Ji Yao and Lu, who immediately grab Tao and take her knife away, but she manages to slip away and get to the bomb, but before she can touch it, Zhao grabs her from behind and holds her, and everyone on the bus then starts helping him, and they hold her down. Wang then speeds up to the bridge, but the bus crashes on the blockade, and he gets up and then pushes through everyone and manages to put his hand on the bomb, but before he detonates it, Li shows him a picture of the molester and his daughter and tells him that she can clear her name. Zhang then enters the bus and also promises to catch the molester and clear her name, Wang then gives up the bomb and with seconds left, Zhang throws the bomb off the bridge and it detonates in the river. Wang and Tao then are brought into custody, and they see their daughter smiling at them, and later we we see Zhao and Li getting out of the station, and Zhang stops them and asks them how they knew his phone, but as they struggle to come up with an answer, he just tells them to go home and rest. We then see Zhao in his room, and he gets a message from Li telling him goodnight, and we see him waking up in his bed, and he then texts Li back good morning. Sometime later, all the passengers in the bus are rewarded for being heroes, and we also see the molester getting arrested, and Wang sees him in the same prison. In the closing credits, we see that the passengers reached their destination and were having a good time with their loved ones, and finally we see Zhao and Li putting flowers on Wang's daughter's grave. 